quietly anchored along the Barents Sea, this vessel is a testament to Soviet technology and became the world's first nuclear-powered civilian vessel. Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to another edition of Borders on Budgets. On this episode, we are in Murmansk, Russia, where we will step on board the icebreaker Lenin. Some eerie sounds upon entering the Lenin. The icebreaker serves as a popular tourist destination now that the ship has been decommissioned over the past 30 years. A glimpse of Murmansk as to where Lenin is now anchored. In the wheelhouse of the Lenin, there's a diagram of the vessel, and we're going to break this down on this video in less than five minutes. It's in the generator room where all of the power for Lenin is created. Vladimir is our tour guide. наушники защитные вот, в трубах температура пара 310 градусов из-за этого помещение 50 градусов было из-за этого здесь двухчасовые варки steam from nuclear reactors enters turbines under 2830 bar pressure and the turbine rotates two generators through a reductor For the benefit of all, only a three or four second test of what the turbines sounded like. The heart of Lenin's operation is the central command post. Ну, то есть, в чем управление здесь ведется? Тут реакторы первый, второй, дальше трубогенераторное отделение, носовое, кормовое. С этой стороны носовая, кормовая электростанция. Вот, здесь работают инженеры, меняются в три вахты по I wonder if this red switch nah, better not. Реактор заглушили, выгрузили топливо, активную зону обоих реакторов заявили специальным простором битву. И раз в год доковый ремонт. В остальном, по сути, нет ограничений. Перезарядка реакторов раз несколько лет делается. Это очень сложный процесс. If my Russian is any good, which it isn't, I did pick up on a couple of key words. This is Lenin's reactor. In its 30 years at sea, the Lenin clocked in over 650,000 miles, or about a million kilometers, which is about 30,000 kilometers annually. The tours jumped ahead a little bit, so that gives us a moment to take a look at the ship's infirmary room, of course an absolute necessity when there was a crew of over 200. While we may cringe at the technology of the ship's infirmary, remember this was state-of-the-art equipment half a century ago. <laughs> Okay, this room has a real you sunk my battleship feel to it. It is in here where all of the details of the individual boats within the Soviet and the Russian fleet of icebreakers are contained. The, uh, the ship itself is over a football field in length, 16,000 tons, and had a sailing speed of 18 knots, which is about uh, 33 kilometers an hour. С 1978 года в Баренцево Макарском морях навигация круглогодично обеспечивается. For convenience, the shipping routes for Russia are in Russian and English. I, uh, I feel like a TV weather person. Let's see if I can do this on one take. Uh, using the northern shipping route starting at Murmansk, it would take about 18 days to, tra to traverse through the Barents Sea and the Arctic Ocean before getting to Kobe in Japan. Whereas using the, uh, where is it, Rotterdam route through the Mediterranean and then down through the Suez and around India, that would take 23 days. Oh, not bad. One take. As the tour makes its way upwards, here is the boat's namesake, Vladimir 
linen. Naturally, all of the uh, signage on the linen is in Russian, except, uh, except for this one here. It's in English and says, uh, don't throw your garbage into the sea. The Lenin had a capacity to generate 44,000 horsepower. Even 60 years later, ships traversing the ocean don't quite have that much power. This has been another edition of Borders on Budgets. A reminder, Borders on Budgets, long distance hikes, slices of life, not a lot of money. From the icebreaker Lenin in the port of Murmansk, Russia, thank you for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. I can't help but notice how friendly the polar bears are to Russian sailors. Did you like this video? Great! Help Borders on Budgets. Hit the subscribe button below and uh, don't forget to share this video with your friends who like Russian travel.